All right, so we're gonna go into Gildenberg again. I was on the fence about it, but we're gonna try Apocalypse 5. We have yet to get an Apocalypse 5 run, uh, or an Apoc Apocalypse 5 win, and I am tempted to think that there is uh, a higher chance on this map just because you start with a lot of buffer zone. All right, I don't like what I'm seeing so far in terms of gear, but... Uh, We'll see. Let's get to know. Let's get to know our characters. So we have Henry. Henry is a poacher, smart and precise. These are exceptional perks, uh, but rocking a steel rifle that is not really what I'm looking for. Uh, I will probably reallocate his kettle helm if I had to guess, because it's a nice one. Then we have a novice wand on. Oh, and actually, Henry. What perk trees? You have the assassination and the debuffing perk tree. Assassination, I think, is very good for you. You do have glass cannon. You have initiator. And you have volatile reaction. So you could be very strong. You could be a very strong hand crossbow character. I hate to pigeonhole you so earlier. early. Now we have Maximus. And Maximus is a fortune teller. Love, love me a fortune teller. Energetic and stiff. That seems like a great combination. Has a little bit of accuracy. Uh, the AP ring is going to do basically no good on this first round because uh, we're not going to have the need for action points, except maybe here. Yeah, uh, I don't really want to tank that. Um, ooh, isolation. What's the isolation ability on the rifle? Remind me. Yeah, assassinate. So, I think we'll move this over here. Move this over here. Give you a bit more dodge. I don't think we're going to use action points there. And then, we have armor on our caster. So, let's swap that out. Or good armor on our caster, that is. Okay, this is starting to come together. And then I think the focus ring we will we will eventually want to use, but not quite yet. Now, we hadn't looked at our uh our melee character. Oh yeah, we liked we liked the abilities that we have on Maximus. Uh and then for perk trees, we have the poison perk tree and the assassination perk tree. Okay, we can make that work. And then last but not least, we have Lorelei, who is a grave digger. Very interesting. Lucky with dragon blood. Seems pretty good. Rocking the debuff and the poison perk trees. Okay. And rocking a great axe. Okay. I, I like our crew. I do indeed. Okay, let's uh let's get this party started. Got to love uh the great axe. <laughs> um Okay, so before we before we head out here, let's move up a little bit and get a couple hip shots. Just because they're cheap. I mean, I like the damage we're putting out there, uh, for sure. I guess we should... Keep on keeping on with that. Uh, let's see, you have lots of movement points. Uh, I think I think we do this just so we can get the the one more. Oh, we're all out of we're all out of swiping axes. How disappointing. I figured that was an acceptable trade. And then yeah. All right. 
Okay, and no other funny business going on on the map. The, uh... Oh, whoopsie. Okay, that was a full... A full turn of mayhem. And then, yeah, we have 11 mana regen, so we'll do that to pick up some kills. Pick off some of these, some of these fools. Okay, and then how far can you run away? Probably far enough. Eh, not quite far enough. All right, well. All right, now everybody is safe. And then who still is sitting on action points? Oh, you are... And you are. Okay. All right. Night number one seems like knock on wood. I think we're in relatively good shape. All right. Pretty good. hate to see the dodges. Now you have seven movement right now. We don't really have, yeah, we don't really have much else we can do. So let's just fall back. I don't think it's worth. Yeah, let's do that and then we can afford one more of these. This is this is the only way that our uh, our mage is keeping up with uh with our great axe wielder who is just putting in disgusting damage. up around the corner just to be on the safe side. Oh, who's still sitting on this many actions? All right, it's our... It's the one that we just gave a bunch of actions to. Gasp. Now, I, I feel like Lorelei is just 24 kills, 16, 22. Okay, so it's really, it's really our range character that is suffering. So let's see if we can... Hmm, that was very disappointing. Okay. 
let's see. And then if we move back one, I don't really want to spend mana at this point. But I don't want you to get surrounded. Okay, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna do the double transfer here, just so I can get back. And then I'm gonna defend up. Yeah, the rifle, it's really hard to, to get good action economy out of it. Whoops, don't do that. Uh, trying really hard to spread damage here so that we don't end up with one super overleveled character. Uh, Oops, I meant to do a transfer there so that we can fully armor up and and then just in case it goes after our caster. But now it's sensor o'clock here. Okay, beautiful. We are in very good shape. Uh... To the point where I think I can probably move like this and put in some damage. Oh yeah, nice, okay. Feeling really good about that. One eighty five, one thirty four. 88 is the sweet spot. All right, 136. We'll have to do some punching to uh to get those set up just right. 136. Yeah, so I kind of want to come over here and do that. I mean, I think I was gonna say, I think we can safely do that. Okay, looks good. I don't even think we need to armor up. Yeah, and this one's all done, so let's move over here so I don't accidentally forget it. Uh, 284? Okay. We're going to move really slowly with this wand character. I find wands really challenging to utilize. I think we could go to five for Sword of Damocles. And it would not be unreasonable. Now, see, if that crits, we're going to get... Uh, we're going to have a bad time. Okay. So we're just going to go slow. We're really going to take our time to make sure that we don't accidentally crit this and end up very sad. Okay, that's all good. You are exactly good the way you are. 136. 31 is good. 61, 31 all looks good. That was a little close. Probably should not have been quite so reckless on that one. Alright, we need to get 
get some line of sight action going here. Really? Okay, we got like one more there. Good enough, and then we, we can run, ar run around and help out, I guess, because actually we should go this way. This side is kind of like a visual nightmare. Um, our, the visibility is really bad. running through somehow i feel like it's even more annoying to kill sensors on this map which is uh saying something because <laughs> i thought sensors were already really annoying you've already moved We definitely could use a bit more mobility. Crossing crossing the Great Divide here is proving uh mm, let's be careful. Just punch this. Okay, that's good. And then I think we to be on the safe side we should punch that a couple of times. Twenty two eighty one. Oh, already good, actually. And then we only have one more to go. Trying to decide if the seer approach that we took last time was uh, was worth it or not. I don't think the the enemies come in that much, but I think especially what is the line of sight problem here? All right, nothing we couldn't get around. Uh, the I think it's still important. Oh, 171. Let's uh let's do it the the slow and steady way here. 86 is good. All right, real quick check. 86. 87, 81, 65, 78, 45, 53, 49, 88, 31, 61, 67. You done, son. All right. Thirty, twenty-nine, twenty-six. We did a good job. Uh, with how dominant the Great Axe had the potential to be, I think we did a good job splitting uh, splitting the kills. Let's see if we get a good knightly reward. A legendary dagger. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> that looks like it's going to be hard to pass up. Yeah. That's beautiful. I don't think Great Axe Dagger is necessarily the bee's knees, but uh, seems good. All right, so we're going to do our our usual. I'm tempted to get a gold mine going. But let's let's see what's what's on offer here. The focus ring should go back on. 
we need this is good and then the short bow is pretty good okay so that that gets us to the point where all of our characters have a second item and it looks like we're only getting it from one direction here so i think we can probably make this work Now we can now we can put the AP the action point on, I think, and, and it will be well utilized. Roll range damage, I think, is good here. And probably daily manner. No, I'm gonna roll that once. I'm gonna roll that twice. Alright, we got lucky there. That was good here big magic damage is good and i think a big daily mana regen is good and for our melee i immediately saw a big magic damage not what we need in our life um none of these are very good we have no momentum damage on anything so we do, we could go with like a poison build. Do you, you do have poison? Actually, maybe we, I've never tried building poison with a dagger. It's interesting. Because mana growth isn't very good. Steady aim is pretty good, but we're not going to use it. I think septic shock might actually be the play. And we go with like a dagger contagion build. Such a thing even possible. Now over here on our character i'm steady aim is the one is would be my default yeah i think it is it's an easy default and then over here i was seeing that we had we have what i want to build the generic one but oh it's got to be harvester at least to start get that we have big mana regen this will help a lot uh We didn't end up using our catapults much at all last time. Neither of those are very good. Sadly, I'm I'm eyeing the rusty shield. Only because I don't think we... Eh, we might get to the 54, actually. I think we get to the 54 and we try and get a gold mine going. Because, like, this is not that useful. We don't get much out of that, but... Mm, the accuracy on that's actually pretty good. This is almost a liability. So now we're at 9. That puts us at 41. Accuracy on it's good, but it's not that important. So this is fourteen seventeen. I can never do math. Alright, we need a wee bit more. I could also build another house, but I don't think that's what we need. Yeah, I think we need to find five more. Uh Maximus, you're looking you're looking real naked. Yeah, this is the five more that we need. Is it? Yeah, we can afford to sell that, and then we get our first gold mine going a little early than we normal earlier than we normally would. And just to be on the safe side. I think we put down the catapults are very forgiving in their placement because of the way that the map is designed. But this is going to be a make or break night for us. Uh, I'd like to keep the sensors up if possible.
Whoops. And then next turn we get the Seer. Are we supposed to get the Seer this turn? Actually, I think I'll put my... I'll put myself there, I guess. Yeah, it'll probably be fine. 